Hello guys, welcome to another prestigious scholarship opportunity in Australia. Today we are going to talk about the Australian Government Research Training Program Stipend. And as you can see, the scholarship is currently open. And more interestingly, if you come down on each of the courses, you are going to find scholarship and prizes. This is very interesting also. So apart from the scholarship I'm talking about on this particular video, you can also find the different scholarships that you can apply to based on the particular program that you are interested in. If I click on scholarships and prizes, you can find scholarships for only international students, scholarships for head students. So if you click on the drop down, you can see different scholarships that you can apply to that are just for head sciences and you can do that for other courses as well. With this scholarship, you would get up to 32,500 Australian dollars yearly and that is about $2,700 per month. The scholarship is open to those who want to pursue a master's by research or a PhD program at the University of Technology, Sydney in Australia. The good news is that this scholarship is an automatic scholarship so you would not have to apply separately for the scholarship because you will be automatically considered for this scholarship when you apply for admission. The deadline for this scholarship is on the 15th of October 2023. Right now, let's talk about those who are eligible to apply for this scholarship. So you are eligible if you are going to undertake a higher degree by research. Um, at UTS and that include PhDs and masters by research and also you should not be receiving an equivalent award or stipend or salary providing a greater benefit because this is a stipend scholarship so you should not be receiving another stipend scholarship of the same or greater amount. It is also important to know that all international applicants are eligible to apply to this scholarship right now let's talk about how to apply to this scholarship like i earlier stated um, this scholarship is automatic so you just have to apply for admission at least before the 15th of october 2023 they stated here that there is no separate application form for the rotps scholarship for prospective students completing one form will mean that you are considered for all associated scholarships. So therefore, if you are a new student, for you to be considered for this scholarship as a new applicant, what you have to do to be considered for this scholarship is to tick on the yes boss while applying for admission. You just have to tick on the yes boss in the scholarship slash sponsorship information session. So once you tick on that boss, you will be considered for this scholarship. Right here, you can see some important links. There's a link right here, research scholarships to explore more scholarship at this university. And also there's the research degrees and also how to apply information page. So we are going to take a look at the research degrees first and then come back to how to apply and I'll give you more information on that page. So right now we click on the research degrees to explore different degrees available at this university once you're on this page you just have to scroll down a little bit and then you can come to apply for a UTS research degree so once you click on this it takes you to this new page and what you have to do you can click on types of research degrees to get more information but we just have to come down right here and click on select a course if you click on select a course it takes you to this page where you can look at basically all the programs available at this university at the top here you're going to find uh, PhD programs but if you come down you're also going to find the masters by research here, masters by research courses so you can look at the courses available in data analytics so right here we have analytics and data science and art and social science business so there are a lot of courses design architecture engineering heads um, we also have information technology, we have law, we have mathematics, science, sustainability. So you can explore these different programs. Uh, these are programs that have masters by research. 
you can click on any of the master's program as you can see there's a link and then you can read more about the eligibility for that particular master's program and all the documents you need to apply to the master's program and then you can also find out how to apply within the program for example take a look at this we can click on masters uh we can click on master of health services and this is also a research program and right here you can see the course experience you can see the overview and you can also see how to apply and other important information very interesting if you come down on this page you're going to find um, local student international student for course fees so you can check out the course fees right here and more interestingly if you come down on each of the courses you are going to find scholarship and prizes this is very interesting also so apart from the scholarship I'm talking about on this particular video you can also find the different scholarships that you can apply to based on the particular program that you are interested in so for this uh, particular course in head science uh, if I click on scholarships and prizes you can find scholarships for only international students um, scholarships for head students so if you click on the drop down you can see different scholarships that you can apply to that are just for health sciences and you can do that for other courses as well and if you come to scholarships that are only for international students you can also find different scholarships right here international research scholarships so you can see them there are a lot of scholarships for only international students you can click on any of the scholarship to explore more and then um, you can see scholarships for domestic students also and scholarships for only aboriginal australia um, students so you can check it out and apply to multiple scholarships and if you have questions for this particular program there's a button right here for you to make an inquiry you can use the button to make an inquiry and get more um, information that you need so when you are good to go you've gotten all the information you need you can come over to how to apply you can click on that and you can also come at the top right here to click on the requirement and selection criteria for this particular program and um, you can get more information about the requirement and right now let's talk about how to apply for a research degree program so guys i'm back to the very first page and right now we want to talk about how to apply for a research degree program at this university so what you have to do is to click on this link right here how to apply so that is going to take you to this page apply for a research degree and right here um, there are a lot of important links for example find a supervisor so it is important to know that for most research degrees you need to find a supervisor you need to send a code email to a supervisor and get a supervisor to accept to supervise you and then you are good to go to apply for admission you can also go ahead to apply for admission hopefully you get a supervisor assigned to you so right here you can see the important links select a course find a supervisor and also scholarships find a scholarship scholarship deadlines and so forth so um, what i'm interested in right now is the application so prepare your application so you want to write your research proposal and um, you can get more information from this link and then prepare your documents you can get important um, information about the documents you need to provide from this link and then um, one important thing about um, applying for research degree programs is that you can apply by yourself um, you can apply through the UTS student portal you just have to log into the application portal we're going to click on the link right here and see where it takes us so the link took us to this page and right here is just giving us more information about the application process before you start your application you have to confirm a supervisor select a program that you want to study and um, you must have completed any faculty specific pre-admission requirements and then you must have written your research proposal you must have certified or translated the necessary documents and prepare all your documents and after that you can go to the application portal to submit your application there are other important links right here to consider um, for example for example checking if you have met the eligibility criteria and also um, the english language requirement there are links right here for you to check that out and um, also prepare your documents and thereafter you can come down here to this link that says apply here you can click on this link and it takes you to the application portal so we are right here at the application portal 
and you can see for future students that wants to apply the first step is to register like any other platform so you have to complete your registration and once you are done registering with all the necessary details you can log in and start to complete the application form and make sure you don't forget to tick on the yes button when it comes to the scholarship session so they'll, they're going to ask you if you want to be considered for scholarships you just have to tick yes and then you are good to go you can submit your application and hopefully you get contacted by the university that you have been considered for the scholarship so guys do not forget this is a stipend scholarship and with this scholarship you get about 32 thousand five hundred per year um, this does not cover your tuition fee it is just for your living allowance only so that is why it is very important to check the scholarships in um, that is available in your department or the course that you have chosen just like i shown you in this video and then you can apply to other scholarships which can also cover your tuition and do not forget to submit your application before the application deadline right here if you've gotten any value from this video so far, do not to hit the like button and subscribe to be part of the family. This is the homeland of international opportunities. My name is Eugene and I would like you to watch this next video showing on the screen if you are interested in a fully funded scholarship to study a master's program in the United Kingdom. This is the Commonwealth Master's Scholarship and it covers all the costs of your study, including your flight ticket. Click on the link showing on the screen right now and I will see you right in that video.